Welcome back guys to my 05 Forcer XT build thing. In this one, I am going to be working on the sway bar. So I've got one back here. This is my rear one. In my last video that I worked on my car, I did the strut towers in the rear and in the fronts. I still got to do the little cutout thing so I can pop those caps back on. Easy, but I don't want to do it yet. So this is the one that I have for the back. This is white line, just like my last video. I'll link what I have down below if you want to take a look at it. This one is a beefy boy. It's very solid, very heavy. So I feel like this one is going to do a whole lot of difference. So I've got the car up on ramps right now so I can get under there. I don't need to take the, the wheels or tires off, so it don't really matter. Get that up there, get a lay under the car and try to show you how to get this installed the best I can. All right, so here we are underneath the car. I'm gonna get the best views I possibly can. This is the current one that's in here. So you can see this, you've got bolted up here, you've got the little bracket right there holding it in place and it goes across, exhaust, and then you see it come around here. Again, same thing on the other side, and then bolt it up right up here to your little end links. So, first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, actually there's not really a whole lot to this. I'm gonna take off the end links here. So these are 14 millimeter bolts. Maybe a little difficult. You can see the surface rust and stuff that's on here. So possibly an impact on there or um, a torque wrench, something to get those off because those are gonna be a pain. And then this one right up here, this one's a 12 millimeter bolt. We're gonna take that one out so this thing can be freed. This thing is, I, I just wanted to include this, how much of a difference it is. I grabbed onto this and just grabbing it, there's so much flex in that. I'm not even putting my full weight on it. You can see it flexing. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be an upgrade for the rear. All right, so my end links are not coming off nicely. So what I have to do is I had a 14, just regular wrench, see that guy down there? Regular wrench, I got a 14 and put it up over here on the other side. There's about, uh, I think there's only two flat spots. So if you get it just right, you can get a 14 wrench up here and then your 14 millimeter on your socket because this whole piece just starts to move after a while. At least it did for me. So I put this one up here and now I actually have an area to do the 14 here and the 14 on the other side. I'm really hoping I might be able to squeeze one back up in here. This one might be a bit more of a problem. Okay, so I finally, finally got my end links off and they, need to be replaced because I had to cut them off. Um, this is actually what I did because uh, obviously I'm in an apartment so I don't have access to my power tools so the only cordless thing I have is my my drill so what I did over here is I have a drill attachment that can go into my little impact and then I've got a little cutting wheel attachment on here. It's only a few dollars compared to actually going out and buying a whole new thing and then battery and whatnot and I went up through here and I cut off the end link that was up here. I actually managed to get the other side out successfully. Here it is. Uh, just got it over here. So here's the end link. So the rear ones, they're gonna be straight just like this, no adjustment. And they're gonna have the little uh, caps at the end. This is, the what, this is what I was talking about at the end. You've got a little notch to where you can put, um, your wrench, there it is. So you got a little flat notch right there. But the thing on the other side, I put a wrench on there, I rounded it out, I got uh, clamps on there, I did vice grips, like anything I could, but I it, it completely seized on. So I had to go a different route and just cut these off. Since they're just hanging in here, I backed it out enough to where I could get a blade up in there and cut it. But I have that off and then the other side off. Now all I have left to holding this whole thing in is the two screws up here. So I have one already backed out a little bit. I can go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna make sure I clean this up real nice before I put it back in because that screw is still good. And then all you have to do is it just kind of swings out just like that. And then you've got this one out which leaves just one more in my place. I'm going to have to wait a while to finish this because I just ordered some end links because none of the auto zones or anything nearby have them so I ordered them off Amazon I will link those below but I got to put those back in and get this whole thing off and wait 
Alright, so it took a little bit longer than I wanted, but I got my brand new end links in here. Uh, I wanted to go to the auto parts store and get them, but these ones, they look just like this. They're solid, straight piece, same way. These are ones for the rear. The, the ones for the front, one of them is facing this way, and the bottom one is facing this way. So they were all out of these everywhere nearby, so I had to order these online. Again, I'll put those down below if you do need them, which I highly, highly recommend because mine were so rusted. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these back in, pop the bottom one back in that hole, the top one up here on both sides, then I can fit the new sway bar. All right, so as I'm putting these up, these white line actually come with braces. So let me grab one. This big old fat chunky thing is a brace. So one, this single hole is going to go right through here. It's going to be threaded through that one. And then the two bottom holes down here are gonna come right down here. And we also have this little U-bolt up here. This is gonna go up through here and go through those two bolts up there. And it's gonna make so our end links are more secure. All right, so that is what it's gonna look like when we have it in. We've got the end link standing straight up and we've got this coming through here. And then right on top, we've got a little U-bolt that comes through onto here. So that is the whole thing. I'm not going to tighten anything up yet. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And just to let you guys know, if you do want to get these ones, the ones that I got, you're going to have to get grease fittings or a grease gun for these grease fittings. Um, the regular ones don't have these the ones that come with the car. This one's a little bit uh, more heavy duty than the original, the OEM. And these are a size bigger. So I actually had to get uh, a, a drill and go through these brackets in here just this one hole right here just to make sure it fit through just a tiny bit of work but I'd suggest getting the OEM ones or something very similar so just so you don't have to go through that hassle all right so now I have the sway bar up here uh, have, again haven't tightened anything up next up I'm gonna make sure I've got my little bushings in place so you're still gonna use the the one that was already on your old one so make sure you don't throw those away you're gonna reuse this guy and all you have to do to get the old one out is just pop it straight out <laughs> mine were pretty sealed in there I really had to crack them loose but pop those out of the old ones and the old one just kind of pops right out super easy so to get these in I can go ahead and have this kind of chill up here if I want maybe not never mind but the new ones look like this they've got little fuzzies here on the inside and it's basically pre-greased already. You never have to do anything for it. And it's got a little crack right here. That little crack is gonna open up and you just fit it over your uh, sway bar in the back. That's gonna go up there, line it up to right here and then put the new one in and bolt it up. Super easy. All right, so there it is, just popped it in. You can see the there's a little gap there. That's, that's totally fine since this is kind of a thick boy. Grab your original one, little tab right up there. It's gonna slide right on it and then you're gonna grab it and you're gonna put it up here ah, and bolt it in. Ouch, my face. All right, now I have both just kind of snug on there, not tight, but I've got these in place exactly where I need them on both sides, which hold it up in place, which will make it a lot easier when I get everything in place here. So you have three holes. The further up you go, the softer it's gonna be. The further down you go, the harder it's gonna be. So this is the hardest, this is medium, this is soft. I'm gonna try to get it on the hardest settings because I mean, that's why I put it on here to begin with. I really don't care about ride quality as much as the next person would. So I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah, hopefully this isn't gonna give me any more troubles. And just like that, easy as can be, I popped it in that hole right there. I've got everything mocked up again, nothing's been tightened and I've got both sides just like that. The reason why I haven't tightened anything is this needs to be on solid flat ground before you tighten anything up. Right now I've got mine up on my little ramps here so it's not gonna be the way it should. So I'm gonna get this on the ground, on a flat surface, let it settle, and then I'm gonna tighten everything up. All right, I am smashed up under the car right now. I got everything nice and tight. Got all of that good to go. The last thing I need to tighten up are these. Now, if you are for some reason off or anything like that, you can move these left and right as you want. You just grab it, move it left and right, because you still have the end links here that have some play in it. So get it so it's nice and even on both sides, and screw these in tight, and that should be everything. 
And just like that, we are finished. All right, that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but uh, next up, I'm going to tackle the front, which is supposed to be a little bit harder because you got to take more stuff off. So watch out for that video coming up soon.